Hello, few days ago, I made a project called Battle. This is entry for CG shortcuts challenge and made a brief description with showing all you know stuff in Cinema 4D and what I and what assets I've been using. This time I want to show you how this project was built, what technical methods I use. And we go from scene by scene and you'll know everything what is inside this project. Also, I use Filmic Blender Osho for one of the scene. You can go to this site, download it, and I'll show you how to use it in Redshift. Let's start from the first scene. The order of showing scene is not the editing one, but I think you will be not confused with it. So the first scene is battle going from the bottom. It's driven with plane effector with strength setting from 100 to 0. Let me go off the camera. And camera is a null object which is driving with a signal plugin in rotation. Of course, you can do the same thing with keyframing, but for me, single is much faster because you can tweak directly in an interface speed and retime with no keyframes but with parameters. That's great. The one thing I use is dome light with exposure go from minus five to zero, so it light up the scene. In zero frame, we have lower exposure and rotation of null with dome light. And then it gather strength and rotating. You can see with this back element. So very simple scene. This is base primitive, which I available in content browser in this or this object volume two folder. So you can check in Behance. I show the folder where exactly you can find this preset. Materials are from Grayscale Gorilla. Nothing is changed. Everything is set by default. And this is also a Grayscale Gorilla pack for rendering metal. It provides strong light from one side and smooth lighting from another. So we have this shadow, but very smooth and elegant. The same preset for all rendering is to GI engine with brute force and something like this in settings 8 to 156 maybe 1000 into light brute force 512 and optics for some of the scene because it improves rendering because i have two rtx cards very simple scene let's go into the next one the next one is bottle that pushing from this deform form and then going to straight one. The materials all are from Grayscale Gorilla, so I will not waste time to point it every time. Almost the same as the Rai map, how this scene looks. Just deform meshes with morph tag and jiggle. I'll show you the principle, how I done this. For example, I create sphere with a lot of segments, for example, like this, or higher, going maybe to this type, holding C, sphere, and deform. Going to mesh, brushes, dock it, and deform my geometry. So holding the middle mouse for the radius, create different deformations. Of course, you can use soft body or something like this, but I would like to add direct some deformations. And with these tools, I can easily create any type of 
geometry displacement and it's very fast and handy workflow for example i use only almost inflate and just inflate inflate with holding control to deflate and for example this uh, the final form then i go to the sphere i hide deform going to find a tag that is morph tag and it's in rigging tag now let's go to the pause morph going to set points delete this point zero deform absolute or relative absolute animate this one now i create deform let me uh, not deform but uh, morph deformer going below the sphere it accept pause morph tag and then going to fall off and create spherical field where spherical field touching sphere there we have our morphing begin or we can decrease sphere size or going to sphere remapping and invert it size to low value and we'll have the deformation or inverted for going from deformed to flat one adding jiggle deformer below the morph sphere i go out and we have this bouncing this is the trick i use for this scene the same for background you'll see morph morphing spherical field which is driven with this signal once again just uh, not to have keyframing all this stuff very simple using instances and for battle i use battle simplify alembic just for faster work and to add bending with this start animation you'll see that it untwist and became the basic one all these faults cause of using jiggle deformer very simple but beautiful looking method of working with deformation now we have one of the simplest scene in technical aspect because all these elements are from kitbash 3d roads props or something like this all i done is add these kind of wires they're done with arc no dynamic and cylinder just to be rendered the main animation is done with xp emitter for that filling this bottle let me show you how this effect was achieved we can create cube we can create tube add simulation tag collider body for tube we change the collision shape to static mesh because this is primitive contain this inner hole and automatic for cube will work perfectly and now all we have to done is go into shift c create meter cloner and sphere i'm holding shift c to bring this console and uh, just to faster work with it now i would like to add one more cube at the top holding control of this tube just to cover it so the bottom cap the tube 
and the top one. Now we have the emitter. Doesn't care much its orientation. Just be sure that it below the top one and higher than the bottom one. I set the animation, for example, from 0 to 60 frames. Going to emission, set stop emission to 60 or maybe 55. Extend birth rate editor just to provide more particles. Sphere put to cloner. Decrease the radius. Simulation tag with rigid body. And cloner going to set to object and to emitter. Hit play. And we have our dynamic elements start to fill the tube. Up our emitter a bit because we have big spheres. Decrease spheres and add a random effector that extend and change our scale. We have big and small ones. I don't want to have these small spheres and I set minimum to zero. So random will only add values to the scale. And now we can find the proper value for this birth rate. We can extend like this. And if we see from the bottom and we hide all these elements, I mean, if we look from the side, they will fill our form. This is very handy. This is the main principle I use for building this animation. Color is driven with random color field. I create two materials, one in condensed for small spheres, for middle ones, and one which is using more graph color going to the ramp with some preview like maybe a heat or full colors going to RS color correct with decreasing saturation value because we have night and our colors should be less vivid than in daylight. Hitting render and the background is done with image from the unsplash. An image of background just loaded with gamma correction just to contrast it as a background. And there is slightly a render shift environment with that adding some fog. So in lights we have volume uh, contribution in not all lights but some of them for example like this contribution scale. The more contribution scale we have the more visible our light will be. And I decrease spread just to have kind of spot light for this scene. These top signs are done with, let me zoom in, orange lights that have animation into intensity multiplier by hand, just on and off, on and off. This is the first three scenes and I use, I think, a bit of bokeh. This doesn't work for this project, but I'll show you in what scene I use this texture. This is the first three scenes of the battle project.